Welcome to Dr. A's weekly healthy bastards health tip. Hey folks, welcome again to Dr. A's weekly healthy bastards health tip. Now this week's uh, health tip is on, 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 ah! <coughs> hay fever, or brainy bastards call it allergic rhinitis. But before I start the show, I just want to mention, last week I talked about the secret that I had. Well, I'm going to tell you what the secret is, but at the end of the show. Now, hay fever is very common in New Zealand. They reckon up to 20% of the population, one in five people in this country will experience it. Now, what actually causes hay fever is that somehow or other you get allergies which affect your sinuses, and as you can see from this picture of Gav's sinuses, they're big holes in the bone, or allergies that affect the nasal passages that you can see inside this guy's snoz. See how far the nose goes back? Well, you get allergies in there, and that's called hay fever. Now, what happens in hay fever is that pollens or other particles that you might be allergic to uh, for example, cat fur or uh, the house dust mite. Look at this horrible little bug. These are the things that you may well be allergic to and somehow or other, some of the bits of these cat fur or house dust mite or pollens get into your nose and they react with the lining of it. And what this does is that it causes um, irritation, so you get sneezing. <coughs> or it gets all swollen and snotty, so you get a runny nose with stuff coming out the front or stuff dribbling down the back of uh, your throat. Some people can also get uh, involvement of the eyes and they too get irritated uh, and weepy. So say you have got hay fever with sneezing, irritated eyes and a runny nose or the <laughs> stuff going down the back. It Sometimes can be hard to treat, but the ways of doing it are firstly to try and avoid the, um, the substances that you're allergic to that cause the swelling in your nose and your sinuses. So, you know, like if you're allergic to cats, well, you're going to have to get rid of the cat and get a dog. Uh, don't walk out in the fields with all the pollen. Um, and likewise, make sure that your house is fairly dust free and you can get special vacuum cleaners that suck up the house dust mites. So you want to avoid the substances that cause the hay fever. If that doesn't work by itself, then there is medications that you can take. There are various pills like uh, these ones here, they're antihistamines. And you swallow those and they work inside your sinuses and stop the particles reacting with the spaces, um, the uh, nasal spaces. The problems with these antihistamines is some people can get quite sleepy on them. So you have to be careful and trial them before you use them. Use particularly the non-sedative ones like Claritine if you can. Otherwise, you can use eye drops if you have uh, the irritated eyes, or you can use a nasal spray, which has a special steroid substance in it. When you use it in your nose, it lines the lining of the nose and the sinuses, and again, it stops the particles reacting. If you use a nasal spray, though, make sure you use it properly. Get a spray, poke it right up your honker, give it a so it goes way back and move it around. So that's hay fever, and just some ideas on how to treat it. So that's my health tip. So what is the secret? The secret that I had on Facebook last week. Well, I can tell you that I got pretty strong sources, uh, undercover stuff, you know what I mean? And they know what is the sex of the new royal baby coming through. And I've been told that it's a boy. Even more, I've been told the most likely name. It's most likely to be called the English version of David, or it could always be the Maori version or Rawiri. 
So imagine that, Prince Rauwiri, eh? That'd be good for Kiwiland. <laughs> and as for the draw, who's going to win the two hats? Well, let's have a little squiz here. Uh, I'm not meant to look. So it'll be Chris Elder. And let's have a little rummage around. Jeff Omrod. Thanks, fellas. Make sure your hats are in the post. See ya.